Over to turn four, we are underway for the new stars, the CRA Street Stop. Good start for Damon. He'll have that advantage down into turn one and through turn number two. The race is on for second. Here comes LaDuke to the inside, trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe down the back straightaway with that 7X machine. LaDuke was fast, setting the quickest time during that practice session for the new stars competitors. He's back up in the line behind the 7X. Bobby Comer behind the wheel of that car. Comer follows in the tire tracks now Dwayne Damon. Damon, in fact, goes a little bit lower into turn three. That's going to allow Comer to close the gap in the middle of three and four. Then he goes way up toward the wall, kicks up a little bit of dust in the upper lanes of the racetrack. Conclusion of lap two, still leading the way is Dwayne Damon. And here comes Ricky LaDuke in 96, starting to reel in Comer in 7X. Less than a car length separates them, but Comer gets a better run into that third turn where LaDuke bottoming out just a little bit through the center of turns three and four. No problem, though. He's going to take a peek into turn number one on Comer. LaDuke is there to the inside. Good run off the second corner. Pulls alongside up to the door. LaDuke wheel to wheel almost heading into turn three. Couldn't quite get up side by side with him. Now does in turn four. Car seems to stick pretty well. Loses a little momentum off of turn four. Comer down the track. They avoid contact and Comer holds on to second. Yeah, Comer a little defensive there going into turn number one and LaDuke will back out of it. Slide back in line down the back straight away. All that does is allow Dwayne Damon to try and run away and hide as those two still trying to settle it for second as way sideways off turn four for Bobby Comer in 7X. Was able to stay in the throttle and keep his gap. Now he's sideways again going into one. I think he's tried to turn up the wick a little bit and he's leaning on that right rear pretty hard. Five laps down, 15 to go. Going to be 14 to the finish this time as LeDuc will set up another run for second. He probably needs to go in somewhat of a hurry because all of a sudden the two of Dwayne Damon is pulling away at the front of the field. LeDuc sideways getting into turns one and two, chases it up the hill. Now back alongside Comer off the second turn. Drag race down the back straightaway. Comer with the outside line, able to drive in a little bit harder on the top shelf. LeDuc slides up the racetrack a little. Thank you, sir. And Ricky LeDuc sideways off the fourth turn, but will take second into turn one. Duke had the advantage, but now slides back a little bit as the seven of Comer pulls back forward. Good battle continues. Second and third on the racetrack. Fourth place running back there is the zero of Adam Rowe. He's been unable to catch him despite their battle for second and third. And guess what? 96. Ricky LaDuke drops back in line. Couldn't quite get by the seven. But have to set up another challenge as we close on halfway. This time by, we'll have nine laps up on the board. Eleven more rotations to go. Dwayne Damon has led since the drop of the green flag in the number two machine. Almost a second his advantage over Bobby Comer and Ricky LaDuc as they still try to settle that battle for second. As you mentioned, behind them, Adam Rowe in fourth, Nick Pressler fifth, and Brandon Barkas turning laps in the 50 and sixth. Second and third soon to be up for grabs once again. We are halfway showing the cross flags. Starter Gary Davis, second and third. Here it is. LaDuke makes a run to the inside off of turn two. Gets a little bit free, drops back in line, takes it all the way back up to the wall. I think the top uh, second and third actually closing a little bit as well on the leader as Dwayne Damon giving up a little bit of ground to second and third. Way up the racetrack for Comer, almost into the fence as he tries to defend LaDuke, who's on the bottom. Gets a good run off the second turn to pull back alongside and now back in front of Ricky LaDuke into turn three. LaDuke picks up the throttle a little sooner, a little sideways, and Comer again will drag race back in front. Oh, man, I thought he was going to be able to get him that time, especially after the little mistake from Comer down in one and two when he pushed way high. But LaDuke has been unable to do it. Winchester is a place you can pass, but you got to set it up and make sure the timing is right. If you get to the inside of someone, doesn't necessarily mean you're going to pass them because an outside lane, they keep their momentum up. And so far, doing a pretty good job to hold off Ricky LaDuke is that second place competitor, Bobby Comer. About eight tenths of a second, their disadvantage to Dwayne Damon the last time by. We thought, and I agreed, that they were reeling in Damon while racing for second. Damon has picked back up the pace. As he'll cross the strike this time, back up. Well, actually now back down to six-tenths of a second. They're gaining once more as they work through turns one and two. And Ricky LaDuke on ice skates off the second turn. Going to be five laps to go this time. Five to go for your race leader, Dwayne Damon, in the two car. Can he hold off Tober? 
as well as the 96 of Leduc, and it was Leduc that I think everyone thought might be able to do it from his third starting position, but he just hasn't been able to get by the 7 of Comer, and he's lost some ground and maybe used up whatever was left of the tires. Pretty even difference between those top three as you look at them on the racetrack, about four car lengths between each position as Comer, the driver in the middle right now, in the catbird seat, if you will, in that second spot, has defended Ricky LeDuc really well through these first 15, 16 laps. Now trying to see if he's got anything to wheel in Dwayne Damon as they come off the turn with three to go. Doesn't have to worry so much about LeDuc now. He just needs to worry about the driver in front of him, and he's closing that gap. Oh, he was closing the gap, but really sideways. He hung on to it down on one and two, but loses a few car lengths back to the two of Damon. That'll allow Ricky LeDuc to re-enter the chat off of turn number four. About a car length of difference with two sticks to the air and two laps to go for Dwayne Damon back to turns one and two. Damon starting to get conservative as Comer again turns up the wick. Top three could be nose to tail to finish of this one. Less than a lap and a half to go. We'll see the white flag down to a couple car length advantage for Damon. One more lap to go for the race leader. The two of Dwayne Damon. Can he hang on? Down into turns one and two for the final time. Comer gets it to about a two car length disadvantage. Down the back straight away and into turns three and four for the final time. Comer to the top shelf, Dwayne Damon on the bottom. Will he be able to pull alongside? The answer is no. Dwayne Damon shuts the door and wins at Winchester. Second spot to Comer, third to LaDuke. Nick Pressler in the one car will finish this race in fourth. Brandon Barkas and Adam Rowe rounding it out. But how about... Closed that gap on the yeah. last lap. Came right down to the wire once again. Quickly, for those of you who are getting ready to leave, everybody knows what tomorrow's situation potentially could be. We'll invite you to follow us on all the social media channels for Winchester Speedway and Champion Racing Association, as well as the ASA Stars National Tour, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Any decisions that will be made will be posted as soon as they are made, and that includes racing, which is the key thing we're going to do tomorrow. <laughs> if we can manage to get Mother Nature on board, uh, we are going to do everything we can to race tomorrow here at Winchester Speedway, so don't fold in the cards on tomorrow's activity just yet. We are going to do everything we can to get race cars on the racetrack tomorrow, so we invite you to come on back and be a part of night number two, which will feature the main event for the Boers Welding CR Late Model, Spar Late Model Sportsman and CRA Street Stocks plus the Midwest Modified Tour. Before we get to all that, let's head downstairs to Rich France. Yeah, guys, what a run. He could not make a mistake those last few laps. Smoke pouring out of the right front of this automobile. Smiles all over the place. We'll get him out and talk to him. Climbing out of the automobile. Nice round of applause for Dwayne Damon. <laughs> Dwayne, come on over here. Man, I got to tell you, those, those last several laps, you had Bobby and Ricky right behind you. You could not make a mistake. Man, you held a pretty wheel, brought it home. Your first ever win at Winchester. How's it feel? Oh, it's awesome. I can't believe it. Man, I seen them guys coming. They was coming. I tell you what, I'm just like, oh, I can't back up. I can't mess up. I can't mess up. And I can see them, see them, see them. And I'm like, oh, it's not going to happen. I seen that two to go, and I'm like, they're not coming by me. I'm holding them off. Oh, I love it. Oh, I just thank everybody for coming out here. My first win here ever. My fifth time here coming, and we win. Woo! Tell me, all, tell me all who makes this possible for it on this two machine. Well, man, first of all, I kind of hand it off to Chris Stearns tonight. He's my tire guy. But uh, Lonnie's M15 towing. Um, Chris Stearns uh, sell, uh, auto sell uh, garage. Sorry, I'm... Top speed, finish line, gutters, uh, performance auto, and all my friends and family that helped me. I can't thank you never enough. Congratulate. Thank you. Woo! All right, guys, that, th that wraps things up down here in Victory Lane. Uh, Dwayne held, up, held uh, Ricky and Bobby off. We held off Mother Nature. Let's try it again tomorrow. How about that, Adam? Night number one, already in the books for the 52nd Winchester weekend. It is. Congratulations to all of our winners on night number one. And... Kudos to the staff. I think the rain's going to get here about 8.30 tonight. If we'd have started at 7, we wouldn't have got probably the last two races in. You're so, probably right. So good move there. And uh, go out, have some fun tonight. Be safe. 
go out and join, you know, some folks out in the campground. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of partying out there. It's pretty early into the night. Gives them plenty of time. They probably think they get to sleep in a little bit tomorrow, <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, and again, we can't reiterate enough. We plan to race tomorrow. And the chances of rain tomorrow have significantly dropped yes, from yes. what they were, so, so that will help us a lot. The, the number one plan is to race tomorrow, of course, if Mother Nature absolutely help, deals us cards that we can't win with. Again, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of those places. Make sure you follow Winchester Speedway, ASA Stars National Tour, and Champion Racing Association, and uh, we'll keep you up to date on everything that's going on here at Winchester Speedway. The big thanks to all of you race fans, teams, and competitors coming out to Winchester Speedway on this Friday night. We'll be back on Saturday with more. Big thanks to those that tuned in as well to watch us.